Over on the other side of the motor, we're going to put on these heavy, let's heavy hurry generators. Up. Let's yeah. hurry up, Bob. This thing is just so heavy. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, what's up, Hercules? Yeah. Well, here's well, the thing. This isn't a generator. This is an alternator. So we're here at the long block. Since the last time you saw the engine, we went ahead and torqued down all of the head bolts and we added the manifolds and we used the kit from Caddy Daddy for the bolts. Now what we're gonna play with right now is everything that goes on the front of the motor and the fuel pump. There are a few differences on there, and there's different bolt lengths because there's different combinations if you had power steering, if you had air conditioning, if you had the air ride. So we have all of those nailed for the different type of fasteners we're gonna use. But let's go ahead and start with the fuel pump. Okay, the first thing is we'll wanna drop in our fuel pump push rod. Now this motor's a little bit different than a lot of engines. The fuel pump sits right up here on top of everything. As it's opposed to oftentimes off on the man. side. Mm. So on our push rod, I've applied some of the um, cam lubricant that came with our camshaft where it rides on the, I, uh, rides on the lobe and I put some on the, the, so that just goes in. And what's nice is sometimes other motors you have to play around. With oh yeah, no, this is easy. This is, this is, yeah, this is great. A little bit of assembly lube on the top. And I've already went a few minutes ago and applied some um, um, contact cement, gasket cement on everything. So we can just start dropping this together. And the first piece that's going on there at, well, after the actuating rod is this oil filler tube. That's what houses the fuel, the fuel pump. pump. Yeah, the filler uh, stem comes out more in the front of the engine than to the side. And it has this indentation to clear the carburetor. So we can slide that on. You want to hold that, Bob? I'll oh, I got bolts. that for you. held in there once again with new bolts and lock washers. Yep. So with the tube installed, we're gonna go ahead and put that fuel pump. Okay. Once again, we have all of these gaskets come in the kit. Hold on to that. I will hold on to that guy. There we go. Let me get these started for you. Yeah. Now the, I like to usually get one started. You got a hold of that box? I got a hold of it. I get one started a little bit, then we can kind of compress the pump on the push rod. Oh, yeah, it's better on this than others. A lot easier when it's on the top of the motor than the bottom, isn't it? Even though these are new housings and everything, sometimes they aren't a steel housing. So. Yeah, it's an aluminum housing. So. Okay. Feel good there, Bob? I like it. I like it. There we go. One last thing to top it off. Brand new off the shelf of Caddy Daddy. Hey, Cadillac fans. Thank you for tuning in and checking out these beautiful vehicles that we're building. I'm so glad to share them with you. And also, I want you guys to feel free to share and ask your opinions or any questions that we can help you with on there as we go along this process. It's all a discovery and we're so looking forward to it. So I wanna share with you also too, why I'm so passionate about these vehicles. I just wanna kinda of say that we call it chip off the old block as a little bit of an honor of my father. My father is the one who really turned me on to Cadillacs and old cars in general. He was the um, industrial arts teacher, both machine shop, auto shop, and drafting at the local high schools here in Napa, California since the 60s up until the 2000s. So he really bestowed upon me a great work ethic and a love of what I do and what I'm able to share with you now. He was able to influence so many people in his life. 
I hope that with maybe these videos, I'm able to influence somebody out there and at least share the knowledge that was bestowed upon me onto you guys. So I appreciate it. Thank you for sharing all this with us. Here at the table, we've got the water pump here. This is a reproduction water pump that's carried with Caddy Daddy. And it's so much we've played with. We will show you actually in the future how to rebuild one of that's the water right. pumps. That's right. Yeah, this is an original that's been rebuilt. Yeah, a little different um, casting on there, mm -hmm. but it's really a quality product. Yeah. So what we've already done is we took out the stock um, tubes the here, the fittings. heater hose fittings, and we put those into the new remanufactured body. And we also applied the uh, sealant right here, high so that we get the height, the high temp. And so, in the kit, you're going to have four. Four, four of the, mm -hmm. and your and your water pump housing. Yeah. Now they look really similar, but if you look at them, there's a slight difference. So you want to make sure that you look at it. And the one that has the smaller hole, if you hold it up there, just ever so slightly, goes on top. Let's go ahead and take it over to the motor. And we will be offering uh, bolt kits mm -hmm. for the various applications. Uh, things you'll need to know is with or without air conditioning, mm -hmm. with or without power steering and air ride. Mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of lots of mm -hmm. variables with the with the bolt lengths on the water pump. So we're going to set up a Easy way for you to make the right selection mm -hmm. online when you go to order. Exactly, and that, that'll give you the right ones and the right length because there's many times I've seen the wrong bolts go in there and you want to have a good grab on there. And you only have a certain amount of room within the block. So with the water pump, we've got it held in with the bolts that do not affect the accessories that are on the, That's on right. the motor. So now, we're going to start putting the accessories on. We're probably going to need an extra set of hands. Yeah. So. Hey, John, come give us a hand. Yeah. Yeah. You can just come here and hold some. Come give us a hand for a minute. Yeah. Busy buying parts and selling parts. I'm probably buying another car. Yeah. Uh, well, nobody's supposed to know that. Yeah. Just, what we need you to do, John, is hold that right about All right. there. All right. So we try to line this bracket up. All right. From this side is good, or do I yep, need to? we'll line it. Okay. There's one. Yeah, that one started. And let's not get it all the way tight because we have to put that thermostat housing on. Yeah, and the, ther and the mm. oil filter housing is also bolted to the thermostat. Mm. This is one thing, especially if it's in the car, you can struggle with because there really is an order of operation. Yeah, you're done, boss. Get out of here, boss. You got work to do. I do. Go find this new project. I gotta find some Cadillac jokes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. Yeah, so go ahead and put the thermostat housing in. We've got a thermostat here. And, and the gasket, gasket and with that tack right there. These have a tendency to go bad right here. They rust out. Oh, yeah. So Caddy Daddy's going to be carrying those very soon. That's a coming soon product. Oh, that's going to be nice. I've spent hours cleaning housings up. Before. Oh, I've had one just go so bad you can't get a hose on or off of it. Oh, the one on my old army jeep was horrible. Mm. It was a real mess.
over on the other side of the motor, we're going to put on these heavy, Let's heavy generators. Up. Let's uh, hurry up, Bob. This thing is just so heavy. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, what's up? Hercules? <laughs> yeah, well, here's you know. the thing. This isn't a generator. This is an alternator. 90 amp alternator. 98. But, but it's in the housing, which replicates the original unit. And then we got a little bracket. And do note right on here, there are different brackets that support this depending on the equipment that's on your car. Yeah, if you don't have um, air conditioning, then you'll have a, this bracket will be a longer bracket that will come over here to the water pump bolt. Yeah. And you actually don't have this cast bracket. Though it's really neat, so we have all the modern conveniences of a single wire, wire alternator. And what's great about these two is they even have an additional hole right here so you can put your um, generator light on your dash. So check these out at Caddy Daddy. And thanks once again for coming on this journey with us. Vine Village is a great organization that gives back to the community. Check it out. You'll see so as well. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Son and Kirsten. We're here at the 2018 Vine Village Celebration, our major fundraiser here that helps fund programs that we run for people with developmental disabilities here in the greater Napa community. Vine Village was founded by my family and another family, each who had children with disabilities in 1972. And we depend on donations from all sorts of foundations and individuals and businesses throughout our community to help fund these programs. And this is our biggest fundraiser of the year.